What is up, you guys? It's your boy Andy Matrix. It looks like Netflix is up to is up to something, right? Um, so this has been coming into my news feed. I've been seeing this. Uh, I've been seeing this since yesterday. So clownfish talking about it. So I wanted to make a video of it because I just love you know bashing on Netflix, even though I still use the service, right? So it says Netflix slam for using AI generated art in new anime shorts. Right, so Netflix basically, you know, and and honestly, and to be fair, and Netflix they've been using artificial intelligence since before everybody started raging about artificial, I mean, about artificial art since last year. Because some sometime around October 2022, that's when that's when all the rage, all the rage started to happen when Chad Chad GDP started when um Journey, when when the Journey art generator was getting attention. Right, sorry about the the. Uh, I'm a little under the weather today. Sorry, guys. Right, so I'm here at Yahoo News. Right, so Netflix have been using AI AI generators, AI generated art, and using them for anime. And they're saying that this could replace background background artists in the anime industry. Which and it's already happening. It's already happening. You know, uh, so not only. Not only is AI replacing certain art jobs, like you know, certain concept art, um, but now, you know, background artists are also going to be replaced. So, we're here, guys. We are here. You know, we go to Polygon, Netflix, and with you Studios face pushback for AI-assisted short film, and we're gonna take a look at that in a moment. Again, Mashable, Netflix is getting blasted for using AI art in anime instead of hiring artists. <laughs> So let's take a look. So here's a post. This is this here's a post. So they they did a short animated film with Wit Studios to test out the technology. Here we're at Netflix Japan, uh, the net, the Twitter account of Netflix Japan. This comes from Wit Studios. It says, as an experiment effort to help the anime industry, which has a labor shortage, we use a image generation technology for background images of all three minutes of, of video cuts. So, image generated technology, aka artificial intelligence, you know, art generators. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm not gonna play the video because then I I'm gonna hit with a you know copyright strike, right? So as you can see, some of these backgrounds are generated. You can kind of tell there's a bit of consistency with certain backgrounds when it comes to AI. Like for example, the flowers here at the front, they could be um, AI generated. The background, if you look at the background, I will say, you know, it, it, there's a high possibility because uh, AI generated art tends to be kind of like, tends to have like this pixel, this pixel type of like look to it. This pixelated type of look. Um, here, this kind of look, this actually looks pretty legit. This looks like an average um, anime anime art scene. Now, I would say that the the, the station here and the, and the train, they're definitely handmade, but then like the, the Mount Fuji and uh, the, the cherry blossoms here, maybe. Since a lot of a lot of this is just backgrounds, artificial intelligence generated backgrounds, right? You can kind of tell sometimes with the, when it's a little pixelated, right? The, this water, this water right here, I would say yes, definitely. These these backgrounds are easy to make, and some you know some artists could be replaced with artificial intelligence. I mean, you know, uh, I think it was uh, Toei. They're already using artificial intelligence for animation to cut out some animation jobs and to save time in production. But uh, as you can see, this background here, these are these are pretty easy to make. So I don't think that exactly all all backgrounds are all backgrounds are going to be uh, replaced with artificial intelligence. But uh, artists are definitely going to lose their jobs. So a lot of artists are they're, they're afraid, man. It's it's it's. This is something that's happening in a lot of fields because, I mean, it's happening in construction. I already see like robots, you know, in construction working, right? It's happening in the art, the field of art, you know, with AI generated art. A lot of concept artists are going to be replaced. I, I keep saying comic books. I don't think comic book artists are going to be replaced because robots cannot sell stories. Robots cannot tell stories, right? That I'm confident of. But I'm seeing this in the food business. I'm seeing this in a lot of industries, you know, the, mainly the service business. In, in, in Japan, there's certain hotels where you go 
and in those hotels they'll have like a like a robot assisting you to you know to book your to book your stay at the hotels right and the, I, this is just a reality that we have to live if you're an artist if you're an artist and you want to get into art this is the reality that you have to live with that you're you're going to be replaced with technology right that these companies you know might not might not have they'll have no use for you this is the reality and netflix is netflix and with studios they're getting a lot of backlash they're getting so much backlash but um they're using this technology to not only to save money but because i guess they can find certain certain workers certain people to work for them and you gotta remember that in japan especially in japan with the working conditions animators drop out all the time because they're, they don't make a lot of money in America, the average animator will make three thousand, four thousand dollars a month. In Japan, only a thousand five hundred or less than that, not even a thousand dollars. So, whatever your thoughts are, comment below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for future notifications. It's your boy Animatrix. Godspeed.